Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. This is Tripti and in this video I'll be talking about how to start learning DPMS. So for any thing to learn, the first thing you need is a good resource. Alright, so at times what happens is that some people have a completely guided path or guided things and in that case they use courses. And sometimes you use resources like you use editorials, you read tutorials, you watch videos and stuff related to it. So the first thing is कि आप सारे resources इकट्ठे करो because पढ़ते time ढूँढना कि कहाँ से पढ़ना is a very hectic task a task and it takes a lot of your time. So the resource that I'm going to tell you is completely free and that is the guided path for DBMS which is available on Code Studio. I have personally left uh, referred that as well and it's really good because it covers all the theory as well as all the questions. Uh, related to it and you will get all the like, SQL ke interview questions se mil so you can practice there and you can practice actually writing queries so that is something I would uh, personally prefer or refer you guys to and one another resource you can refer is the if you have uh, heard about the site w3schools.com it contains all the SQL queries and what happens is that you have to go through some small doubts and all the SQL queries once again go through and see what you have to do so here there is a list, complete list you can go and practice SQL queries there so some of the important topics that you might be needing you might be required to cover is first of all the basics of DBMS and the architecture about the file system then we have the relational model which covers your all the relationships one to one, one to many then your ER diagram and ER diagram ke components kya kya hote hain uh, and then we have the concept of keys ki aapka foreign keys kya hoti hain candidate key and aapki primary key ye sab kya hoti hain kya relation hota hai kis tarike se use hoti hain and then normalization key function dependency kya hoti hai and what are the different types of normalization then we have relational algebra uh, and the subtopics into it and then we have SQL, SQL map ki different queries when you have to practice kar sakte ho. and then you have the views and joins and then further we have transaction and asset po uh, properties and lastly we have uh, concurrency control so these are the different topics many have briefly bata hai that you should go through and obviously you find everything that I just said in the guided file which is available on Code Studio and make sure ki aap interview questions practice karke ja rahe ho alright so you're not just there to you know aap se bhaap definitions nahi rutter bait ke DBMS kya hota hai ye kya hota hai iske saare jargons ki definitions kya hota hai nahi aise kuch nahi karna hai you have to make sure you understand each and every concept and especially practice questions SQL related ya SQL jitte bhi queries hain wo saare achche se kare na and aapka normalization aapka jo hai it becomes a very important topic so make sure you practice the interview questions a lot and uh, you can also refer uh, yeah w3schools.com if you want to check out all the possible SQL queries and yeah that's it that would be more than enough for you so I hope you like this video and you gain some information from it and if you still have any doubts please uh, write them down in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day everyone. Hi there we hope you liked the video and had fun learning. I would like to inform you that Coding Ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called CNSAT. If you participate in this test, you can get up to 100% scholarship on any course at Coding Ninjas. It can be DSA, web development, product companies, interview preparation, and even data science and many more courses. So if you want to avail this opportunity, click on the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate in the test now. Happy learning guys.